And this is why we're here. We're here to educate. Mm -hmm. We're here to open up your mind and give you a different point of view than you may be getting in the brief visit with your doctor. Because your doctor doesn't have a lot of time because of the whole system of HMOs and all that jazz. They, they have to schedule people pretty close together. And so it may not be a long conversation. Right. It may and, not. And it may not need to be. And it may not need to be, especially if you're not really open to looking at hormones. Right. But if you are looking at that, then you need all the information you can get to decide, huh, I'm at risk. I know I'm at risk for glaucoma. I, I am never going off estrogen. Right. There is no way I'm ever going off estrogen or testosterone. I want my eyes more than I want anything else because I use them more all day long than any other part of my body. I mean, that's my way of learning and that's my way of reading and seeing and experiencing what's around me. Eyes are huge and you should take care of them. It is not like, oh, I don't need to go to the eye doctor because that's just, that's not like going to the primary care. You need your eyes. You need well, to see those ophthalmologists. And so, for so many people, they don't have insurance that pays for eye doctors. You know, their insurance may pay for other kinds of physicians and so they avoid or put off going to the eye doctor because mm -hmm. they say, well, I can't afford it. You, I mean. Most pay for that. I would but rather they lose don't... any part of my body besides my eyes. I mean, I the, the thought of going blind from you, because I read all the mm -hmm. time. And if I can't do things physically, at least I can read. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's a personal horror. So I know, it is to me, me too. it's worthwhile to, to go to the eye doctor.